wanted to thank the Sylvester and Adams families for hosting us over this special weekend. I'm Caroline. I'm Taylor's first cousin. My sister Anna Blair and I grew up down the road from him, so um, we were always really close. When Laura started dating Taylor, we all kept him, we held him to a very high bar, um, and I guess maybe he's met it now that we're all standing here. <laughs> Laura, though, I think deserves this toast more than anybody. Uh, for one, yes. she has to put up with Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also, she puts up with us from a daily to yes. weekly basis, which is <laughs> insane. I'm glad we're all here together in the place that y'all met and here to celebrate you. So welcome to our family. And I don't think any of us were surprised when they chose these beautiful mountains as the place that they would become Mr. and Mrs. Adams. Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Taylor and Laura in marriage. These rings are an outward and visible sign of an inward love and grace, signifying to all the uniting of Taylor and Laura in marriage. Bless, O Lord, the giving and receiving of these rings, that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And if you could put this on Laura's finger and repeat after me. Laura, I give you this ring. Laura, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. And now Laura, put this on Taylor's hand and repeat after me. Taylor, I give you this ring. Taylor, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You have declared your consent and vows before God in this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace and peace. And if you two would face the congregation. Taylor and Laura have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the giving and joining of hands and with the giving and receiving of rings. And so it is now my great joy to announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let nobody put asunder. Let us pray. O oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of Christian marriage that in it is represented the covenant between Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessing upon Taylor and Laura that they may surely keep their marriage covenant and so grow in love and godliness together that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit bless you and keep you. May the Lord graciously look with favor upon you that you may live in grace and peace. Amen. Taylor, you may now kiss your bride. Separately, Laura and Taylor are two remarkable people, but together they are complete. Good evening, everybody. My name is Bob Sylvester, also known as Taylor's father-in-law now. 
<laughs> Kim, I, Nancy, and Randy would really like to thank you for coming all the way up to the top of Beach Mountain. We are really excited that you made it up here. We're really excited that Taylor's part of our family. Laura's part of the Adams family now. And we can't wait to celebrate. Every one of you is a special person in Laura's heart, Taylor's heart. I can do it. <laughs> We're all excited to watch the family grow and watch where your careers take you. You guys are lucky as you'll have each other along the way. Cheers. Cheers. I consider my sister to be an extremely loving and caring person who goes above and beyond for those she cares about. And it's amazing to see that she found somebody who will do the same for her. I know that you will cherish her and I'm so happy that I can now call you my brother. Love you both. So we're really glad that you came tonight. And let's have a great time celebrating Lauren Taylor's wedding. Yeah. 